Hey, this is Jeff, AKA Quiet Horn from quiethorn.com, and this is an egg shaker. And um, these are very inexpensive little shakers you can buy. Uh, and you can buy them at your local music store. Local music stores, if they have a percussion section, often have all sorts of fun little stuff like this. So anyway, um, <clears throat> one of the cool things you can do with this and other small percussion like it is find interesting ways to use it on your horn, uh, or with your horn in this case. So um, what you can do with this is you can palm it. If your hands are, are big enough, you can palm it. And then uh, when you use your slide, um, it shakes along with your slide, basically. Um, so you can do that. However, I've gone ahead, I have another one of these shakers, and I've taken a, um, I don't know what you call this, uh, a little Velcro strap that you can get with like cable management for computers and and um, audiovisual stuff. And there's a, there's a shaker in there, I've strapped it to my slide. Um, this way you don't have to palm it if your hands are too small. It also makes the sound a little brighter because when it's in your hand, it's, it's kind of muffled. Uh, I've also muted myself just with a straight mute because the sound of the horn is gonna be a little overwhelming compared to the sound of the shaker. So let me show you what you can do with this thing. I'm just gonna play like an F major uh, scale or the first five notes of an F major scale kind of up and down and you'll, you'll hear what I'm talking about. Hopefully you can hear that the shaker starts to, you start to have rhythms based on the slide positions you choose, basically. And if you've ever gone through our bands or any of the other uh, trombone lesson books, you probably have seen things about um, proper slide technique, about using quote unquote alternate positions, which is kind of a, a weird term. I don't like the, the term alternate positions, but um, about using alternate positions to keep your slide going in the same direction for as long as practically possible. That's just considered good technique um, on trombone so that you can avoid this kind of sawing back and forth motion, right? However, if you do that sawing back and forth motion, uh, you get a nice eighth note pulse on a shaker, right? So. Um, having the shaker on, on there is interesting because it allows you to, uh, to associate, I guess, shaker patterns with notes you're playing or with, with um, lines you're playing, right? So if we're playing like a B flat, the first five notes of a B flat major scale, just doing that sawing back and forth motion using the D in first position. <laughs> Right, you get a, just an eighth note pulse. However, if you play the D in uh, your flat fourth position, which is referred to as a pivot tone, if you're familiar with that um, term from, from the R-Band's books, you get a different, uh, different pattern on the shaker. Yeah. It's cool um, to put it on there because, like I said, it, you can you hear patterns, um, uh, rake, uh, rhythmic patterns with the shaker um, based on the slide positions you're using. Um, another fun trick to do <laughs> is, uh, and I'm, I'm going to do this. I've only worked on this for about an hour or two over the past few weeks. It's really tough to do, but what you can do is you can you can get that eighth note pulse going, and while keeping that going you try to play stuff around it. So playing the horn and picking notes almost becomes secondary to um, the, the, the eighth note pulse on the shaker. So let me show you what I mean. And again, I'm, I'm probably gonna stop a bunch of times because once you, once you lose it, once you lose the coordination or you play a wrong note, you know, you're trying to think on an off beat and you play on, the, on an on beat or whatever, then it's, it's done. But hold on a second, let's, let's give this a shot. And again, you could do the same thing um, you don't have to mount the thing on your horn. You can always just, if you can palm it, you know, if your hands are big enough. Right, you can hear though it kind of muffles it when, you, when, you, when, you, when it's palmed. Right, these are fun anyway. I mean, forget trombone. These are just fun to have. They're really good. Okay, so let's try this. Here we go. 
shaker move down a little bit on my horn all right so I'm out of breath <laughs> uh, out of breath yeah, that's um that's a physical workout <laughs> getting that thing going anyway um, I think uh, if someone were to take this uh, technique and perhaps try and develop it into something you could maybe create melodies um, that would like integrate the uh, the shaking sound that the rhythm of the shaking sound based on the slide position you're choosing you could do some really cool stuff with it if someone were so inclined to do so i don't know if i'm going to have time to do that but um it's definitely fun just to have that thing on your slide when you're when you're moving it gives you a just a, a different sound that you know it, it breaks up your your lines if you're if you're thinking of you know having a pulse you know uh on on quarter notes whenever you change direction if you change direction on an offbeat which our band says you're Supposed, you're not supposed to do, and if you can avoid it, um, when you change direction on an offbeat, you'll get a, a shake. You know. So, anyway, um, try it out. They're very cheap. It's a very cheap thing to try out. Um, and like I said, if you don't have a way to strap it on your horn, you just hold it in your hand. Don't use tape or anything like that on your horn. I guess unless you have like an old horn and you don't care about the lacquer or what or whatever else the tape is going to damage, um, then you could just tape it on. But um, yeah, some kind of this is like a neoprene strap, I think. So any kind of Velcro strap you can get to secure it on there will help. And then of course, a mute is good too um, to keep the sound a little more balanced so the horn doesn't overpower, especially if you're recording. So anyway, thank you for watching and have fun. <laughs> 